Today we're going to be using transfers um, for the most part. Maybe the only part for today. We'll see. Then, so the transfer I want to use is this um, wallflower. I have not used this in a hot minute. And so I wanted to use it. It's one of my favorites. And so I have this stencil here that um, is new. It's, um, it's a bird cage. Here it is. It's a bird cage. Um, it's one of Mother Rita Bill's stencils. I love it. Oh, I didn't even know it had these birds, y'all. What a fun surprise. And now I don't even know if I'm going to, I didn't plan for those. Um, ooh, I may have to find a place for those. Okay, so I, I have, a, I do have plans. So let's, um, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and pull you down and kind of go ahead and show you what I've got so far. So I painted it, um, black. I used paint couture and I guess I've already put it up. But I used Paint Couture's Baltic Black, um, two coats, and I sealed it with Paint Couture's flat top coat. I want to add these pieces, okay? This transfer looks so good over black, y'all. It, it's just awesome. So I want to put it right here and piece this together. This is like a puzzle, so I'm only going to use parts of this. But anyway, you get the you get the drift. I'm gonna set the transfer like this. So it's gonna be a background of flowers. I'll start with that one. And then I'm gonna fit this a bird cage on top and we're gonna emboss it. We're gonna do a raised um, stencil relief technique. Okay, before I do this I want to cut off this Y'all know I always cut up my transfers, but you can always, um, you know, save the little pieces and put them somewhere else, okay? Just because you're cutting it off doesn't mean you're not going to use it. Oh, I almost got, I almost cut into my blue flower. I do love these grid lines on here to help me get it straight. But see how it's not right on, if y'all can see, it's not right on the line which I'm gonna come down, see how it's right on my edge right here. This black line is right on my edge. So that's good. All right. Isn't that pretty on black? Oh, gosh, I love it. So, they all come with this if you're new to transfers. Is anybody new to transfers? All right, so y'all, you just scrape, okay? That's all there is to transfers. Now, normally, again, like I said, it's good for your paint to be dry. You don't always have to seal it, but it does transfer easier if it's sealed. See how it's coming off? Very nice. All right, so now I'm gonna kind of just go a little faster. I do like to kind of push into the backing. So I hold it up, I'm pushing into it like that. And it gets it laying down. Making sure it's nice and flat and okay. that's so pretty on the I'm trying to decide what color I want to do the so here's the um here's the bird cage stencil I was talking about y'all. So after I get the transfer on there See how I left a little spot right there for the bird, hopefully. 
And what I did, y'all, I took the back of the transfer. I took the back. And so you can look and see. This is how they fit together. Okay, all of this would make one image. So I started, I actually started with this one. I thought I was going to use this one, but then I went to this one, which is the one I just put on the top up here. And then I'm about to add this one down here, and then this one's going to be here, and then this one. Part of this one, so it's going to be like that. Okay. Alright, so here's where I had some things. I'll cut these off and add it back later, but I'm just, I'm not sure about that. Think about this because, all right, see right here? Well, let's just go ahead and do it. So, like I said, it fits like a puzzle. So, I'm just gonna, can't use the grid lines here because just you just can't. <laughs> and this makes me nervous. I think I'm going right here. Here we go. All right. Now, I'm not going to take it all the way off because, see, I've got all this left, so I'm going to I'm gonna um, cut it right about care about that coming off. Alright, so far so good. Alright, so let's see here. So I'm going to piece it together. Actually, I'm going to cut right here. That'll give me enough. Okay, look how pretty. Okay, that took a minute. pretty with this transfer you know it's just it's such a similar color right um, so that's pretty you need to seal the transfer before I spray because my spray it could it could pick up um, the paint is sealed but the transfer is not and you do want to seal the transfer Look at that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and seal it with the flat all right so and you would do this with any project y'all you would um, seal your transfers and I would seal them with a polycrylic like this not a wax okay now this is the top coat that I said goes on white and dries crystal clear and it self levels it's so nice so this is really nice on furniture 
and you don't want to see the brush strokes of your sealer. And I don't even, um, I don't have to sand between this sealer either. Alright, I'm going to let that dry 